Hi guys, Sai is here back with another interesting and most important video and today in this video I am going to talk about how to install any Android apps or Play Store on Linux Ubuntu operating system. Also I am going to talk about how can you sideload any Android apps like you want to install any mod apps or whatever apps you want to install from uh, Chrome or in which browser you want to download that apps. Okay, so what happened? The issue is when you going to uh, sideload any apps, you can face a different type issues like parsing issue or app crashing issues. So in this video, I'm going to talk about proper way to sideload any apps. So what happened? You can good, you can good to go to install any Android apps without any issues. So definitely watch this video because in this video, I'm going to talk about very interesting good two things that is one is play store apps and other one is side loading apps so definitely watch this video till then and if you're new on this channel then don't forget to subscribe also join our telegram channel where i provide important files and updates so without any wasting of time let's begin okay before move on the process of installation first of all note this point you need to log in on um, Ubuntu system, Wayland system. Don't log in on Zor Ubuntu system. Okay, so log in on Wayland Ubuntu. Okay, just log in on default. Don't select Zor. Okay, okay. As we can see here, it is. I am turned off my dark mode and I am come on my uh, Ubuntu about section and I will show you. See careful. As we can see, the system is Wayland. So note this point. You are uh, logging on Wayland system. This is very mandatory. Okay. Now here it is the script. You need to download this script from our uh, download section. Okay. After that, copy the first command and paste it on terminal and hit on enter. Okay. After that, you need to enter the password of your uh, login of Ubuntu. Okay. ID. So after uh, hit the first command. Now going to second command, copy this second command. This is a repository command. Okay, paste on terminal and hit enter and it's going to install the that way land. Okay, so this is the repository completed. Now talking about third command. Okay, second command is completed. Now we are going to install third command that is this command. So simply copy this command and again open terminal and paste on here and hit enter. Okay, it will going to install. This is all requirements, repositories, all of the things okay so wait some seconds it will going to installing okay now talking about uh, next thing and as we can see this is the next command for updatation so simply updation for the process of updation so simply paste this command and hit enter on terminal okay so this is the last command to installation of Wildroid. i mean the process of installation of that Wildroid apk okay so after the installing as we can see here it is the uh, app is appears Wildroid. so simply double click on Wildroid, and after click on select this is g apps okay click on download okay select g apps version and click on download if when you clicking on Wildroid icon, if this interface is not comes, suppose this interface is not coming like this G app section is not comes. Uh, so you need to enter this command. Okay. So what is this command? So this is the, uh, this is the command. If that interface is not comes, so pay, copy this command and uh, paste on terminal and hit enter. After that, you can see this interface. Okay. After that, you can good to go to select G apps version and click on download. Don't install vanilla version. Okay. For play store, you need ha you need to download uh, G apps version. Okay, so simply select that G apps version means that Android type is G apps and click on download. That's it. It will take a little bit of seconds because it's going to download and it will take some internet also. So definitely you need to have internet near to near uh, 1.5 GB or 2 GB is mandatory. Okay, after download completion, here it is the green button is comes that is done. So click on done up button. Okay, when you click on done button, um, you will see the Wadroid. That means the Android system is going to boot. As we can see, this is the boot animation of Android system. So this is the lineage OS room. Okay, nice room. This is very good room. Okay, after completion of boot, as we can see, everything is fine. But 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 wait, 
here it is the notification is comes what is the notification this device play protect not certified okay so we need to certify this device we need to certify this play protect we need to enable this play protect so we need to certify our device okay so how can we certify it because without certification we can't to install any apps which is related with play store okay so you need to enter one of the command and you need to take the your uh, android id and that android id we need to register on for certification so how can we get the android id simply open the script and we need to copy this command okay sudo this command just copy this command sudo pedroid shell and paste on here and hit enter and enter your password hit enter after that the hash is comes now next you need to copy this wolf big command and paste on this uh, terminal and hit enter after that you will get the android id as we can see this is the android id 428 like that so copy this all the id digits okay copy this all the id digits and after that open chrome browser on your ubuntu operating system okay now i'm going to open my ubuntu so i'm going to enter one of the link you can simply search google um, uncertified simply you can search this and go on first site and after that uh, paste that android id on this box okay simply paste on here and click i am not a robot then click on register okay it will going to register successfully as we can see device is registered right so now what is next step go back go back and close all the tabs close the terminal and simply open the wait road app so here it is the wait road app i'm going to open but still this notification is present so we need to shut down the wedroid okay we need to uh, quiet the wedroid and we need to stop the session of this wedroid and let's see what happen okay so i'm going to stop the session of wedroid so how can we do it so open the terminal and we need to enter one of the command which is sudo space uh, wedroid space session space stop and hit enter okay enter the password that's it okay now the session is stopped okay let's check again the that notification is gone or not so i'm going to uh, reopen the wedroid application and let's see what happened okay the rom is booted successfully and oh shit still this notification is present so what we need to do okay just we need to reboot our device once okay i'm going to restart my pc because it will take little bit of time yeah guys um, it take little bit uh, i think uh, three to four minutes so i'm going to restart my pc after completion of restart and again when i open this wedroid as we can see there is no notification of that place not certified play store is not certified device is not certified now the device is certified okay as we can see there is no notification so now what is next simply log in your gmail id whatever you have okay put enter your password and enter your email id and log in here and after completion of login i will show you um, i'm going to install some of the android apps so here it is as we can see here it is i'm go uh, i'm installed a lot of uh, applications i'm going to install a lot of applications like disney hotstar geo cinema okay sun xt a lot of apps are installed and as we can see when i open these apps these all apps are working fine 101 percent working everything perfectly so as we can see here it is disney hotstar all the apps are working fine so you are good to go to install any android apps which is present on play store okay okay now let's jump on the side loading process so how can you side load any apps which you want to install for that you need to install um, cpuz application from play store and open the that cpu application cpuz application and note the kernel architecture so as we can see in my case my kernel architecture is x86 under slash 64 so note this kernel architecture after that uh, open chrome browser of your ubuntu operating system and simply download the application which you want to install on your this uh wedroid android operating system right but you know to need that 
when you going to install uh, when you down when you going to download any application i mean for side lo side loading so the architecture is must x86 x86 under slash 64 so this is note this point so note this architecture for downloading those applications which architecture is x86 under slash 64 you need to uh, type your uh, desired application name and at the end of the application name you need to enter the architecture name that's it after that you can good to go to download those applications okay, okay. after completion of downloading those apps you need to open your terminal on that folder where that application is downloaded as we can see here it is on my download folder the application is present so simply open your terminal on download folder and i'm going to open this okay now talking about how to install that apps which i downloaded or you you are going to download okay so simply type command vdroid space uh, app space install space and now we need to write the application name which we are downloaded okay so i downloaded telegram and i think on the name is something like that telegram 1.1 point like that xyz what is that so we need to copy this whole the name of that application okay after copy that application name simply paste on here with dot apk extension after that click on enter click on enter and after that the application is installed successfully let's i show you as we can see here it is that the telegram application is present so here it is the process of installing or side loading um, any app okay so this is the method if you like this video then please like and share this video see you in the next video love you guys goodbye take care please like this video bye